Laura Crossley is doing a PhD in paleoecology. Laura, how would you characterise environmental science in terms of complex systems? They can't study an environmental um, area without looking at all the different parts of it because they all interact with each other. For example, with my PhD, um, humans interacting with the land changes the land use. This influences what nutrients get into the rivers. That then influences how these nutrients get into the estuaries and therefore, in my case, studying the ecology of the estuary itself, which can also have an impact on tourism. And how do you study such complex systems? Basically, one bit at a time. So by studying the how people have used the land by looking at data on that, by looking at the um, elemental um, geochemistry of the sediment within that area, and by looking at the history of the ecology in the estuary itself. It's basically a bit at a time. So what sort of benefits do we get from studying things in this way? Ignorant policy is no use to anyone, so by understanding the science we can inform the policy makers and basically we end up with a well-informed policy which helps other people. So what's the significance of this to society? Basically, it, by looking at the past, it helps us inform the future. So by looking at how an environment has reacted in the past to changes, it can help us look at how these future changes may occur with the different land practices that we may have in future. Laura, thank you very much. You're welcome.